Oh yeah, yeah, yeah the squinty eyes. Yeah, what yeah. happened? What she happened? goes, this is what she was doing. She goes, so Chinese, she was on Zoom. She's like, Chinese people look like this. Like Japanese people have more of a downward angle like this. And then everything in the middle is everything else. <laughs> Everything else. And she's an educator. She thought this is gonna be a pro. How is how is <laughs> dumb? Definitely. Or I don't understand. Like, where's this lady coming from? Like, where the fuck? What? Where? When were the fuck when she born, bro? Like, yeah. how could you think that, that that's all a good idea? There's so <laughs> many Asian people in Sacramento. In five, four, three, two, one. Hello, everybody. Como estas? Once again, muy bien. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, so I, got a I told you I've been taking my Spanish. The way you tape it off was like that's that's real legit Spanish. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Si, senor. That was good, good bro. You, you got man. it. You're ready. Yeah, do a Canelo real quick. Do a Canelo. Canelo? Oh, my voice is not nowhere near high pitched enough. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you watch the Canelo fight? I didn't. I heard he murdered this There's dude. There's literally no point. He yeah. just bullied him, dude. Yeah. It yeah, was yeah. He kept throwing the same punches over and over again and was landing him over and over again and then he fell down. So that I'm surprised it. he didn't piss out blood. He was hitting him in the liver so hard. It was terrible. We're yeah. going to find out if he was pissing blood for sure. That like he was getting fucked up. Dude, there's like nobody for him to fight, I feel like. Who's he going who's like a, a legit contender for besides like Triple G or I mean, wasn't he supposed to fight Billy Saunders or what was yeah, it? Yeah, Billy Joe Saunders. Yeah. Uh, something happened. I think he didn't like pass a drug. I don't know. Yeah, it, the box boy. it's hard so hard to keep up with boxing nowadays watch he's probably gonna end up fighting like a jorge masvidal or some shit or they're looking for money right now yeah like yeah i think that makes sense if no one's willing to fight uh canelo like the cross promotion probably does make sense but what have you been you up know. to pat just chilling bro just working being a papa being a papa just oh, fucking corn I'm forgetting you have a fucking kid man. me too sometimes i'll be like <laughs> yeah, randomly driving i'm like oh fuck i'm a father like someone depends <laughs> on <laughs> Like, oh no. I, I gotta work. Yeah, I gotta I do got, shit. I got a mouth to feed. I gotta damn. support this fucking child of mine. Yeah, sometimes I look at her and I'm like, damn, I'm your dad, bro. Like, what, what's it like supporting a child? Uh, it's stressful. You know what I mean? It's fucking stre <laughs> mad stressful. I just break down crying. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, honestly, it's chill. I mean, it is like, it does put a fire under your ass, but like, mm -hmm. it's so cool, like, kicking it with them and they're like so cute and shit yeah i mean i think i i i'm biased obviously she's my daughter maybe to you guys she's annoying as fuck but to me like i love her <laughs> we're all like, we all admit like yo we fucking hate her pat like, <laughs> yo maya's a bitch dog. <laughs> <laughs> the way she looked at me no, last bro, week. sometimes though like when i'm trying to get her to eat like i'll get her i'll like she's real picky about food and she'll be like today earlier today i was like come on eat your vegetables she'll be like no like turn around like be like under my breath just be like stupid bitch bro. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you. Como se llama, daddy? Como se llama? Como se llama, Como se llama? <laughs> You're a bitch. <laughs> and then she's like, yeah. You're I just like your fucking mother. <laughs> <laughs> that bitch never like, eats her vegetables. Bang, 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 bang. She hates vegetables and she hates me too. <laughs> we're, in a, we're in a court case right now, so this is going to look real bad. <laughs> we want to play it in court. They're like, see, he's on there. Call you a bitch. No, 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 no. That is me. I actually never met her before. Yeah. She's probably perfectly fine. Yep. She's not, but it's okay. <laughs> in what ways? Name in all now. List Name the qualities. All now, please. Build List the case. negative qualities now. Your honor, exhibit A. <laughs> Dude, fucking, um, this will Pat texts me because I, the other day I was in, um, I was, I posted a story on Instagram. So in past South Pasadena, there's a spot called Jones Coffee, mm -hmm. right? They, they provide a uh, coffee for cost and pie. They're, they're, they're whole roasters and everything else mm -hmm. like that. So, Every day around like 2 to 4 p.m. around there, there's a dude named Hassan. Hassan is a homeless guy, very fucking talented. I think he's on the spectrum a bit. I think a lot of those dudes that are on, the, are on the spectrum, but he's very fucking talented. So he plays like all this old timey ass ragtime piano shit. Did you see him there before? Yeah, yeah, I've seen him before. So he's there all the time mm -hmm. and he's fucking ripping it. Let me tell you something. This day was probably one of the funniest days <laughs> I've ever had in my life. Oh. So me and Khalif, we go to check out Hassan, right? And we always give him tips, specifically Khalif, because I never carry cash. And I just mm -hmm. kind of said that I yeah. added to the pot. You're piggybacking. Yeah, your <laughs> so I piggyback I'm... off of his charity. <laughs> and so, <laughs> fucking, usually Hassan plays by himself. Hassan can actually sing too, by the way. Oh, he has shit. great vocals. And he actually writes his own music. So he has a song that he plays out there called like Misery's Folly or something. It's really dope. But what a on this special name, day, yeah. from a distance, I see a guy with a guitar there too. And I'm like, oh shit, he got a fucking band to get it out? This is dope. So I walk up, you see Hassan playing his old timey ass fucking saloon music. Mm -hmm. And then you see this dude with the guitar, fucking off key as shit, doesn't know what's going on. And he's just sitting there, just trying to keep up with Hassan. Ding, ding, <laughs> ding, ding. So I'm assuming what happened was 
Hassan was playing the piano. Then he asked Hassan, hey, you mind if I play the guitar with you? And Hassan's like, sure, why not? And Hassan starts going in and he goes, oh, shit. <laughs> so he just starts playing random chords. So Hassan's playing and he's getting so, I'm irritated as fuck too. Because I'm just trying to hear Hassan play. He's ruining the experience. Yeah, and Hassan's playing. He just stops. He goes, hey, can I just play by myself, huh? Uh, and he goes, got it. He gets up. <laughs> Oh, he's holding his ass? Yeah. He gets up, goes to another table, starts playing all off-key. Bro. All sad. Duck. Bro. Even when he plays by himself, he's off-key? Even by, by himself. He just he doesn't know how to play the guitar. Okay. okay. He's just a dude with a guitar. He's, he has a, no he's, business a, with guitar. he's a homeless dude with a guitar that doesn't know how to play the fucking guitar. Mm, damn, and he tried to hop in thinking yeah. that he was going to keep up with Hassan, and Hassan is fucking dope. Yeah, yeah. he's a beast. That guy's a G. I've seen yeah. him a lot. That place, Jones, it used to be a place called Busters. Busters. But like, I used to go there. I've been going there forever, but that corner is perfect for people watching because there's always weirdos. Bro. I've seen some of the funniest shit there. Like there used to be this guy. He ended up he ended up being called the Pasadena Piper. I didn't know who he was at the <gasps> time. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. The first Honda element, dude. David's old car. <laughs> way way before like the newspaper articles, I saw him there. I was just like writing because that was like where I go to write, and I just hear. Dear, 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 dear. And I'm like, what the fuck? Look up. This guy's blasting Adele, and he's with his like little recorder, and he's like, dah, 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 dah. this old white just dude jamming out, bro. Doc Brown hair, like. Dah, Hard as shit, bro. Windows down. There's people like leaning out their windows of their apartments. They're like, don't hurt yourself now. <laughs> Was that me, bro? Was that me? Bro? Don't hurt yourself, baby. I got some sweet tea. <laughs> Your lips tea. look chap. Why don't you come up for some sweet tea, honey? <laughs> and this pussy. Bro, bro, that corner, that coffee shop is amazing. Because I I've always see the funniest shit. There. I saw that recorder guy when I was coming outside of Fight Academy Pasadena. Yeah. And then he had a Honda Element and I immediately saw my car after <laughs> I, like, uh, I, can't, I can't be associated with this fucking man here that, that spot is so weird it's because it's next to the the metro mm -hmm. and so sometimes these people who are not all mentally there they mm -hmm. always stop by and jones they're not going to kick them out they actually give place. them ice and they give them some drinks yeah. too, so they get to chill yeah so there's this other dude that was there this <laughs> fucking japanese guy which surprisingly looks like Joe in 10 years, right? He had like the ponytails and fucking everything. <laughs> He's wearing a full samurai outfit and shit. Uh, let me tell you something, dude. Oh, no. This dude was fucking weird. And so Hassan, he's playing the piano, but the Japanese dude is just talking to himself in his thick Japanese accent saying just fucking gibberish. Hassan stops. He goes, hey, can you just stop being an asshole for a second? <laughs> and he goes, hey, what's the problem? <laughs> By the way, I am not exaggerating how he's talking. He talks like when Joe makes fun of yeah. Japanese people. Yeah. That's what yeah. he sounds me, like. I actually wrote down for you guys. Oh, yes. Oh, oh, yes. yes, dude. Do you like that Hassan just fucking handling business yeah, telling everybody a fuck He calls fuck it off. like it is. He's like, yo, I'm trying to play my fucking old-timey music right now. Yeah. And you're fucking up the vibe, bro. So this Japanese dude is sitting there. And mind <laughs> you, I'm just giving you a picture. He has like flip-flops. He's dirty as fuck. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> This is what he says to him. He goes, I used to steal the cigarette, right? Huh? So you curiously, you mentally deserve a cigarette. Give me a cigarette. <laughs> and the son goes, I should have never given you a cigarette at all. You're an asshole. <laughs> so the storyline's about the cigarette. <laughs> and then this Japanese dude is just laughing. <laughs> like a fucking villain. Is, I, he, is he a small, slender man? No, he has his square-ass fucking mm -hmm. face. He looks like a Lego. Honestly, he looks like <laughs> Japanese Gilbert. <laughs> so, he looks like Japanese Gilbert. And, and then, also, the, the, time? the picture you sent me, he wasn't sitting at a table. He was on his knees, like, yeah. like, this, like just sitting on his oh, knees shit. like this. Perfect yep. posture. And wow. so, after that, he then really says... really Japanese. Four <laughs> bottles next to him. And then he, like, continues to talk to him. Then he says, what I say, he sucks. I say, he sucks. Like, <laughs> like pointing at Hassan. He sucks. <laughs> Hassan turns around. You're a fucking dick. Right? And back to it. <laughs> he starts playing his old-timey ass music. Yeah. And after a while, like, he starts being kind of a dick towards Hassan because Hassan wants him to go away. Yeah. And so the Japanese dude just walks up and then he puts a chair next to Hassan's piano and just sits there and he's, like, super close to him. And Hassan's like, bye. Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Bye. And then Hassan just continue to fucking play. And then he writes, I don't even have a headline. Stop and let me sing. When we having sex with a movie star, we say, shut up, shut up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what about politician? I mean, you're fan. you like a sex type. <laughs> I'm not. I really wrote it down. Wow. Because I... I'm doing a case study on this. This guy. is a legal document now. <laughs> he goes, I'm your Chinese fan, you know? <laughs> He's fucking Japanese. <laughs>
<laughs> wow, dude. Are you, sure, are you sure it wasn't Joe Jitsukawa? Huh? This he, sounds all in line with Joe Jitsukawa. Let me tell you something. This is the line that just made me think he was crazy at this point. He goes, the <laughs> oh, point it wasn't is, the other stuff. Yeah, no, yeah. it wasn't the other stuff. Because this sentence makes no sense. He goes, the point is, I'm your fan. It's a twister. <laughs> It's a twister. What? It's a twister. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean? Bro, poor Hassan, dog. This dude is trying Hassan to... is actually cool as fuck. He's just trying he's to play cool his music. Yeah, Hassan's And cool. this motherfucker's over here just saying he gave him a cigarette. He's not even appreciative of it. You know what's so fucking weird, though? Like, in my heart, I was like, I actually thought to myself, and I was super quiet. I'm like, am I have? Am I going to have to intervene here? Yeah. And, like, tell this dude to fuck off? But at the same time, I'm like, there's so many Asian attacks. Yeah. So I was thinking what I was gonna do is that I was going gonna to shove him. I was gonna stop Hassan, right, and say it's Black History Month. Don't worry, I got you. And yeah. I'm gonna sock the Japanese dude in the face yeah, 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 and yeah. say we police our own. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just started to win. Hey, but Loki, that's kind of true though. Don't the think? racially Asian attacks in Black History Month it was very odd. Yeah, I couldn't yeah, make yeah. a choice. You're in a pickle, dude. Damn, dude. And I think you, I think you did the right thing. How I did... think you intervened properly. By not intervening at all. At all. <laughs> I was going to say something, but if I say, hey, can you stop? He's going to open up a conversation with me. Yeah. yeah. And then I'm fine. Yeah, you're talking to him and the six other spirits who are involved <laughs> exactly. in that conversation as well. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want to do that. He sees all the spirits from Mulan and shit, like all the ancestors. That's what he sees in his head. He was so fucking weird. So just rubber bands here, pigtails sticking all the way the fuck out, dirt all over his face. And yeah. then he went aside to get, a, to, to get a cup of ice, comes out. He goes, I'm really thirsty. And he takes the ice cup and he just puts it on his eye. <laughs> and I no have a picture way, bro. Because you didn't see Hassan sock him in the fucking eye. That's what you did. Hassan see. was being really chill about it, though. How did it end? Like, how did it conclude? What happened? Hassan was like, I got to get the fuck out of here. I need some weed and a cigarette. <laughs> Hassan gets up. Self-medicating like a motherfucker. You know, what that, you know what this means is we have to go to Jones next week and we have to observe. Dude, let's go to Jones. I, I love I Jones. Have, bro, I miss going to coffee shops. I and go. I can I'm literally telling you, this is what he did. Oh, shit. Let me see. This, <laughs> this is what he looks like. It's a very artistic photo, but the story behind it is terrible. He's Look how, how like yeah. sensual he's hugging that. Like he's like, look at those ponytails are nice. This just shows how good David is at taking photos. <laughs> that is a great picture, though. It's a great picture. If I saw that, in, like, in the Nat Geo right there. Yeah. If he had an Instagram picture, that'd be his profile. That would be. That'd it. be his profile pic. <clears throat> this looks like this cup of ice and this dude are in love, dude. This <laughs> and the way he's crossing his fuck. Does he have knee pads on too? Dude, he got, he, he got rain. He got rain boots on. That dude's shit. calves are amazing, though. How many yeah. jackets does he have on, dude? Like seventeen. Damn, I it was bro. Like a samurai. He's suit. got. He has like a sweater over like a long military jacket. Do you see that? Yeah. That cape. That, you know, at oh, least he's wearing a mask too. He got a mask under. He's ready to go. Dude, this fool's gone wild. Would be proud. His high, fucking socks are high as shit. Dude. <laughs> he's a down ass They're fool, high, dude. bro. Look how oh. high those socks are, dude. But you see those fucking massive calves? He's he got yeah. calves. Yeah, they're that busting out them things. Bro. Running hills, dude. With yeah. those spirits, they're making them run just, hills. He's just doing calf raises all the time. This guy. I just couldn't believe what I was witnessing all in one day. And you know what else happened that day? This is how weird this fucking day was. It's always on that street too. This guy on that street. Where Jones is, you getting into some crazy some shit. Some weird all shit. The time. Dog. So me and Khalif were walking by. Now, if you guys don't know South Pasadena, South Pasadena is a hoity toity, nice ass fucking area, right? Hoity toity. Minus, you know, little Japanese samurai weirdo here with the yeah, pigtails. Yeah. But he's harmless. But so if you just walk up in South Pass, it's kind of like the South. You say hi to people, people greet you back, you go spark up random conversation, people usually smile. So when we were walking up, Khalif sparked up a conversation with an older lady who has an older dog just like his. They went on for 10, 15 minutes. It was great. So on the way back, after we just saw that debauchery of a fucking <laughs> scene, <laughs> we're walking back like, yo, what the fuck happened? And so this lady who is relatively out of shape, right? But she's setting up all those, all the, uh, the ladder shit. She has her dumbbells out, kettlebells or whatever. And you know, Khalif is working on his NASM stuff. Yeah, yeah. And he looks at her, he waves her, says hi. He goes, hey. He goes, oh, are you, are you working on some hit stuff? And then she just ignores him. Khalif's like, what the fuck? He goes, oh, I was just wondering if you're doing like a hit exercise, right? She goes, yeah, I'm a trainer. Oh. Oh, wow. And then I was like, hold on. What the oh. fuck was that about? And we had to stop and think about it. I think she thought he was hitting on her. He, she legit thought he was like hollering at her, like catcalling her. He's like, no, hit training you dumb bitch we're talking about the fucking modality of workout that you're doing right yeah, now you right. fucking weirdo it's very popular have you heard of it you're a trainer right <laughs> yeah. so you must be familiar with hit training we were like sitting what there kind of thinking fuck. like what the fuck yeah, was like, that okay shamu <laughs> <laughs> this guy was like she's over like 
what did you say? You said you out of say shape. She's, a, she's You're a little out of shape. shape. She said that very nicely. Yeah, slovenly. Yeah. And he was like trying slovenly. to give her like a little slovenly. Yeah, slovenly. like you go, go get your yeah, hair you like that. Listen, like Shakespeare I'm, insult. I'm not one to judge somebody <laughs> based on their looks. All mm -hmm. right. I think everybody has beauty on the inside and out. Of course. Of nah. course. Wow. <laughs> 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 But but we all know what wildin'. we all know what Khalif looks like. That is yeah. a handsome, he light shredded. skinned man. Yeah, he shredded. Right? He looks He's like good he was go. in the Boondocks, but came out and became a real person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the sexy, well kept version of everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, my dear lady, you are not in his league. Absolutely not. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> you are a little slovenly. Yeah, slovenly for slovenly. sure. Slovenly. I gotta Google that. Later. Madame, Madame. Slovenly, but also disheveled. If he, if a random person comes up to you and you have workout equipment on the sidewalk, mm -hmm. and they're like, "Hey, hit training, huh?" Would you ever think that person was hitting on you, though? Yeah, no. what the fuck? He goes, uh, "No, I'm a trainer." It's like, "Oh, okay," but doesn't answer my question. <laughs> still, <laughs> I, was like, I, I, was, I was just saying, "Are you doing hit training?" No, okay, and then you leave. South Pasadena is weird in the sense where it's like really nice, like you said, but it can also be really cunty like that. Yeah, where it's yeah, like, yeah. "Wait, what the fuck? Like, yeah. where did that come from?" Like, we're just trying to be chill, baby. What's going on? Yeah, what's up? I was like, you should just walk up, and then whenever <laughs> she's training her clients, just steal all of her clients. Yeah. Like, that sounds like she has Asperger's or something. I'm a trainer. Oh, yeah? Well, I want to fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she was thinking in her head. <laughs> <laughs> like, he wanted to... F but now she's going to go off and probably do a little Facebook post talking about, well, today, this man was catcalling me, and I told him no. Yeah. It's like, no, he was I'm just... I'm a trainer. <laughs> yeah. It's like, okay. Okay, what? Cool. He just wanted to give you like some yeah. morning motivation to say, hey, you're doing hit training. Good job. Yeah, yeah. And she came. I'm a trainer. It's like, I'm a trainer. Bitch, you don't look like it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Tell you that right now. <laughs> Shit. You look like me, bitch. The you, fuck you talking about? You slovenly. Yeah, you slovenly whore. You slovenly whore. <laughs> you whore. You, whore. you, you fucking whore. whore. You fucking what did Khalif say after that? Devious Khalif gosh. was just like shocked. <laughs> He, he woke up this morning pissed off. He's like, oh. it took him like three days to process. Yeah, he's like, what the fuck is going on with that bitch? He woke up this morning. He just wrote. He just texted me. He goes, no, I'm a trainer. I'm like, <laughs> just, you're, you're bad. <laughs> His first next time I see morning. him, I'm gonna say that to him. Yeah, because everybody in South Pass is usually really nice. Yeah, yeah. and then she just snapped at him. It's like, yeah, that's weird. That's I'm fucking like, weird. And I know everybody got to deal with their own shit. And she probably had to deal with stuff. Yeah, who knows? Yeah. But yeah. that yeah. question doesn't warrant that response. In yeah, I don't understand. Of the where she, how she got there from that you know that doesn't make any sense what a weird interaction dude maybe she just hates hit training maybe she maybe she's just super against it dude she's i like, just no, want i'm a trainer i'm gonna get a sex change and beat her ass dude that's what's yeah. happening just that's you don't even have to get a sex change just identify as a woman for a little oh, while. Yeah. <laughs> just be gender fluid want, can you do that now i've thought about it <laughs> <laughs> you know what back to his ex wife <laughs> 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 I'm sure in some court of laws, you could, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if, it, I mean, look. Didn't somebody do that as a power lifter? They said like, oh, I identify yeah. as a woman. And then he broke the record and was like, all right, now I'm Oh, fuck that. That's, that's hella crazy. Shit. Yeah, yeah. That's There's wild. always going to be somebody who's going to bend those be rules. Yeah, he was yeah, joking. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, he's not. He was doing, he's he was like a, a dude. Point. Yeah, yeah, he was doing he was a, point. a point. This podcast is brought to you by Purple, my friends. Have you ever heard of Purple mattresses? If you haven't, that must mean you're sleeping on a bag of crap. Yeah, you're sleeping in poopy. You ever go to your girlfriend's house and she sleeps on a bag of coals and you're like, wow, lady, you don't care about me. Or maybe you slept at your boyfriend's house and you're like, whoa, guy, cut off your pee pee because you don't care about me. That's because the stuff that they are sleeping on, they think it's good enough for you and it's not. Well, purple, my friends, is reinvented. Only purple has the grid, a stretchy gel material that's amazingly supportive for your back and legs while cushioning your shoulders, necks, and hips. My friends, my purple mattress feels amazing. I have never slept so great in my life. I sleep so well that I could just talk and talk for days because if you sleep well, your cognitive ability goes up, your mood is better, every Everything is great. We spend a fat chunk of our lives on our back sleeping or our sides. Well, guess what? You might as well bless it with some purple, baby. Well, check it out, my friends. Purple really is comfort for an uncomfortable world. Right now, you'll get 10% off any order of $200 or more. Go to purple.com slash GB10 and use promo code GB10. That's purple.com slash GB10, promo code GB10 for 10% off any order of $200 or more. Or <laughs> purple.com slash GB10, promo code GB10. Terms apply. Speaking of canceling, started messaging me about that fucking teacher in Sacramento 
that. Oh, yeah, yeah, the squinty eyes. Yeah, <laughs> what yeah. happened? What she happened? goes, this is what she was doing. She goes, so Chinese, she was on Zoom. She's like, Chinese people <laughs> look like this. Like Japanese people have more of a downward angle like this. And then everything in the middle is everything else. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else. As she's an educator, she thought this is going to be a pro. Bro, how is yeah. how is <laughs> dumb? Or I don't understand. Like, where's this lady coming from? Like, where the fuck? What? Where? When were the fuck when she born, bro? Like, yeah. how could you think that, that that's all a good idea? There's so <laughs> many Asian people in Sacramento. It's crazy. Like, we, we literally have like a whole Vietnam town and everything. And that's so. why you want to trust her opinion because she hangs out with a lot of Asians. So that's she right. knows the angles, bro. Like, <laughs> you just she, see a Japanese guy. Gotta, this is very true. <laughs> <laughs> Scientific fact. Spot Might on. Might be in poor taste, but very true. Yeah. Also, not, why are you doing that? You know, <laughs> at all? Why not I, just avoid all that spectrum of problems and just don't do that? <laughs> you know, like I what, just, what, I was, what do you do? Do it. Yeah. yeah. Why do that? Do yeah. this to your husband at home. Yeah. No one's watching. Like the good old days. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like behind our backs. Like just do it behind our backs. And she was serious. She wasn't like trying to be funny or anything. I mean, it's an inappropriate a, place. She to try. was laughing. It's she an laughing inappropriate it. place to try to be funny. But like at there least a, if there's that element to it, like maybe a saving grace, but not. Nah. There was a couple of kids who <laughs> nah, came out bro. and said that it, the the clip was like taken out of context. Uh, uh, but I'm trying to figure out what the context is that yeah. makes, still that makes it okay because you're a teacher, yeah. dude. The only context that makes sense is if she's having a roast battle with one of her students and, <laughs> and that student just zing the shit out of her. Or something like that. And then she's like, fuck, I got to go racial baby atomic. <laughs> <laughs> the only thing I was thinking is like, maybe she's like a stand up comic at night and she forgot she was teaching a class. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> she just read the Lenny Bruce book. And yeah. just low key though, if she did that on, in a stand up comedy club and she did that joke, probably would have killed. Probably not, murdered. to be honest. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, honestly, yeah, yeah, yeah. No. no, no. I know comedy, bro. You don't do comedy. <laughs> that would have murdered. That's what would have been like. That's so true. Everybody loves racial jokes. That would have been her opening, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, straight yeah. up. She just comes out, hey, guys, so Chinese <laughs> yeah, yeah. people. Have you guys ever noticed how Chinese people's eyes are like this? Yeah, that's her opening. Or bro. Koreans' eyes are like this. <laughs> Everyone's like, ah. They're chanting her name. They love her, bro. That was so fucking weird, man. That I want to see weird. the whole video. Really I want to see what, the, what led up to it because that's the first thing I thought was like, how did this all what unfold? What a fucking idiot, bitch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what idiot a dumbass. Bitch. Like, what are you like, doing? If I was the, the vice principal of the principal and I had, had, had to have a conversation with her, I'd just be like, hey, bitch, just teach. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just, just fucking teach. Yeah, what, what are you, you doing? Like, you're at what? home. You don't got to go to the classroom. Yeah. You, you're good. I'm sure it's much harder, kind of, but at the same time, you don't got to get out of bed. Yeah, like, what are you're you doing? Good. Just teach. Just yeah, teach. Yeah, just teach, dude. What are yeah. you doing? What, where at all... Did you think that that was remotely okay? Like, wait, what <laughs> yeah. thought? I want to know the thought process that led to. I'm actually kind of curious. Yeah, I want to know. I want to know, like, where because she it went from okay, I'm gonna start my class. All right, it's eight oh five. Students coming in. You do roll, and you know what? Just Asians look like this. You know? <laughs> <laughs> and like, then she goes into the morning announcements. Yeah, yeah. Like, what was the segue? Yeah. yeah where, how did she get there? She yeah. was collecting homework online. Everyone was sending her homework, and then she was like, "Hey guys, have you guys ever noticed this?" <laughs> and, and, and you know what the topper is? What? I thought she was like some, maybe sometime like social studies teacher. She's the fucking Spanish teacher <laughs> for real. Wow, she teaches uh -huh. language. She should have been like, "Ojos are like this. <laughs> Chinito ojos are like this." <laughs> Bro, wow, yeah, that's very, so crazy. You just take a couple Spanish words, I, you mix it in the curriculum, you're good. I gotta watch that clip. I haven't seen that. It's really, it's 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 fucking funny, dude. Because you're you that's the that's that, so foul. That's the question. It's like, what the fuck was she thinking? Mm -hmm. That's what you want to know, or or like what led up to this? Because the eight, the girl that was filming it, I, I don't know what she said, but she was fucking mad. She's like, I'm I got this on camera. I'm, I'm gonna fucking send this. I forgot what she was saying, but she, she was like, she, look, she sounded so uncool though. Yeah, she could have just recorded and just shut the fuck yeah. up. <laughs> but she was like, I got this. I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, you're really uncool right now. <laughs> she finally broke the case yeah. for her racist bro. ass teacher. So she was wow. hyped. Maybe like throughout the whole year prior to Zoom, she just, every time she did roll call, she goes, and. <laughs> <laughs> That's all she's even called by her name. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> yeah, sound effects. That's how you associate your fucking students. Know, oh my Japanese God, bro. Girl. That's that, so funny. That what? What were you gonna say? That reminds me of the 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 teacher uh, that it was like an old clip. The guy that like dropped an n bomb in class. Do you remember that white dude? That oh, like, I love that guy. The, Wait, pen, which the one? pencil? Can you? Land? Oh yeah, 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 <laughs> bro. Hey, but at least he was coming from a place of like, oh, I'm just trying to teach. You know, obviously you can't do that shit now. But like back yeah. then, he was trying to teach a subject. Like, oh, this is 
we're diving deeper into the the culture a little yeah. bit. He seemed genuinely confused. He had two note cards. He he like brought, <laughs> he like made note cards. Nah, bro, he wasn't confused, dog. He knew what the fuck it was. Uh, he he, he was confused why people were so offended. Yeah, yeah he's yeah, like yeah. he's like I did the research. He was like, you guys. This is the ER one, and this is the A eight. <laughs> <laughs> He was, they, ah, ah. It was the way he emphasized it. Yeah, yeah. It was so funny because it, it sounded like he Bro. was teaching a bunch of ignorant white people. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. It was an actual school curriculum. He yeah. goes, here you fucking dummies. Yeah. ER is racist, but ah. ah. It's like, what's up, my they, ah. <laughs> and, but at the end of the day, so he bad. was doing his job. Yeah. This woman's job is not to differentiate between Asian eyes from China to Japan to mm -hmm. the rest of them. <laughs> and wow. also, very wrong. That shit was so fucking funny, though. I feel like when I, I remember when a bunch of homies saw that shit, right? They're like, nah, he good. Because <laughs> <laughs> you know he's coming from a good place. And he's yeah. like, yo, I'm like, I'm all about it. Like, that's all the comments, too. It's like, man, he ain't, I'm black. He ain't racist. Yeah. <laughs> He came out of the cookout. <laughs> he good, he good, he good. He was just trying to educate yeah, people. That's all. Trying, yeah, and and he wasn't wrong. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> bro, that video is so funny, bro. If, if so enough people co-sign you, that's why it went viral, bro. Like, imagine if it was very in poor taste. That shit wouldn't go viral the way it did. You yeah. Know? I just like how he was so adamant that he was right. Yeah. Which I guess he was. He Back then, it was okay. Yeah, he was yeah. like, what did I do? They hired him to teach an Ebonics class. That shit is so fucking. I think crazy. that's the backstory on that. Yeah, Wait, after was. that was that's what no, happened. that's that's why he was talking about it. I think wasn't that the thing? It was like no, it's because he like called a student. He said that to a student or something. That's oh. like what got him in trouble. I just made that up. You know? Yeah, no, he there was a student that was like this dude called, <laughs> dropped an n bomb on really. Me. I and then he was like, and the the, the teacher was kind of confused. Like, well, he's like, well, he was like a very like. He seemed really like he didn't understand. Yeah. Oh. And he was just like, well, they, it's like they, people are saying it all the time. So he was like, I just said it like, well, sit down, blah. And yeah, he yeah. said it. And then he was like, I just don't understand. He's like, the e I didn't say it with the ER. He's like, that's when he brought out his like hooked on phonics fucking yeah, party yeah. shit. And he was like, the phonetics. Dude, the, the funniest part of that video too was when he was giving the 17 examples of how to use it. And that shit was smooth as fuck. Yeah. Like yeah. he's used that word the his whole life. <laughs> the pencil one? Yeah. <laughs> Can you lend a, a pencil? Yeah. <laughs> Can you lend a ninja a pencil? <laughs> the way like, he said it. Yeah, he was like, ninja, please. Ninja. <laughs> and the reporter is a black lady the whole time. He's talking to a black lady the whole time. She's wide like, open. She's like, she's like, yeah, actually, this all checks out. <laughs> she's I like, actually, actually had no idea. Great oh, my God. That fucking video. You know how I know this ridiculous. fool doesn't give a fuck about Asian plight, dude? Why? When Jeremy Lin <laughs> was called <laughs> coronavirus. coronavirus, this man laughed. Wow. You laughed? How dare no, you? No, I didn't laugh, man. I'm with you, uh, Jer Jeremy Lin. He laughed at Jeremy Lin's face. That's a, What do you have to say for yourself? You know what? <laughs> people are, hey, people are, people are going to people are going to call you coronavirus, bro. Huh? Have you been called coronavirus? No. Then you don't know my struggle, bro. Hey, been, David, have anyone called you coronavirus? I've been called you people. Oh. Yeah. What's up yeah. with you people? Damn, that's like, it's because of you people. Yeah, yeah, wow. Yeah. I have never felt so empowered in my life. Mm. I've been waiting for somebody to call me that shit. Did you fucking punch him in the face? No, it just no. Everybody else defended me. Uh, so, Where okay. were you? What happened? I was at La Monarca, uh, across the street from Jones. Yeah, yeah. So I was at La Monarca, where every, everything pops off of this. Yeah, yeah. this lady. That's I, where I told it was on the podcast before, but this lady. Uh, okay, let's just be honest. I went to La Monarca because there was this lady with a fat ass, and we <laughs> kind of followed her. There. Like, I got to take yeah. a better look at this. There's some so, big old booties in there sometimes. Long yeah. story short, this lady, <laughs> she's just, she's like, she called herself a COVID nurse, and she was freaking out. And there was this other lady, the lady with the fat ass, that was there, and she had a kid. Okay. And the kid got a little close to the other lady, and she had a stroller. <clears throat> and she goes, "Excuse me, you need to give me space." Blah 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 blah. She goes, okay, whatever. And then she just starts going off on the other lady, right? She goes, ma'am, I am a COVID nurse and th you are not six feet apart. And the lady with the big ass, the fat ass, the mm. juicy one mm. is also a nurse. And she oh. goes, ma'am, I too am a nurse. Oh, Ooh, shit. and I she jumped in and I was like, I too am a nurse. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I was like, You're like, my brother is uh, a nurse. I was like, if everybody else is doing it, I too am a yeah, nurse. Am but they nurse. just started going back and forth at it. And a COVID she, nurse, huh? Yeah, and then me. Very specific. And they kind of yeah. went back and forth. Then she called her a bitch, the, uh, the older lady. And then me and Khalif were like, hey, yo, come on. Like, don't, there's a, her kid's right She's there. She's got a fat ass. Please don't yeah, 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 Be nice. Yo, 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 look at that. Look at that. Don't be talking to her. Look at the bounce. Look at the bounce. Come on. Yeah. You guys are holding up and dropping it. In my, after this happens, like, I get my drink called and I'm walking up. And I, of course, have to say one more thing. I was like, you didn't have to do all that, you know? And she goes, 
Oh, shut up to me. And I'm wow. like, before we continue, let's talk about our lovely sponsor, Skillshare, my friends. You guys already know I've been using Skillshare for everything that I need when it comes to learning a skill that I want to either improve on or just learn in general. Right now, I'm taking a course called Productivity for Creatives because I'm trying to get my life in order. I have a lot of creative ideas, but majority of the times when I put pen to the paper, I, I kind of just don't know what to do with it. Well, the productivity part of this is where I suffer and this course has helped me a lot and by the way this is just a specific course that i'm taking they have a bunch of courses for everything i know a lot of people are into video right now or even writing there's oh let me tell you something the adobe premiere tutorials on here have saved my ass specifically when it comes to editing there's so many courses that you can take and if you're out there and you're itching to learn something new or you don't even know where to start skillshare can be those online courses force use my friends what happened to my english what's going on here skillshare my friends just to give you guys a little bit more specificity is an online learning community that offers membership with meaning with so much more to explore real projects to create and the support of fellow creative skillshare empowers you to accomplish real growth now my genius brain listeners explore your creativity at skillshare.com slash brain and get a free trial of premium membership at skillshare.com slash brain once again that's skillshare.com slash brain bitch are you gonna fucking make me yeah like, what are you gonna do right and then she goes, you people. And then they'll, oh, yeah. right when she called me that, I was like, I have been waiting. <gasps> yeah, they was here like, it is, here it is, here it right? is. Because I've always wanted <clears throat> to say back to somebody, you people back to them with a question mark. Yeah. So she was like, <laughs> you people. And I didn't even get to say it because everybody defended me. Oh, so damn. the lady behind the counter, she comes up, she goes, whoa, whoa, man, man, excuse me. That is racist. And so she looks at the other girl behind the counter, right? Who looks like a white girl. Uh -huh. And she goes, and the lady who uh, who called me you people, she goes, I can't be racist. She goes, I'm Mexican. Could have fooled me. She looks white. Yeah. And the white girl behind the counter, she goes, I'm also Mexican. Everybody's a nurse in Mexican Whoa. in this story. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then I jumped and I was like, yeah. Escuela. <laughs> She's like, school. Wow. Wow. He's Mexican too. Yeah, yeah, fucking uh, they're all a bunch of Patrick Ryan. Yeah, yeah, say nombre. Say nombre. <laughs> 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 And the then these two ladies start yelling at each other in Spanish. Bro. I'm like, bro, this is fucking nuts. It's like racist Pokemon, dude. It's like, <laughs> you got attacked by a Pokemon, you called your Mexican Pokemon, and they yeah, clash. Yeah, yeah. I like they how do the battle for you. she can't be racist because she's Mexican. Yeah. Like, what do you mean? So what? You can't be goes, racist? This is the fucking topper. This is how crazy this lady was, right? And this at this whole time, like she goes, fuck it, you guys are all crazy. I'm out of here. Yeah. And I felt bad because the lady had her kids there. She had her carriage. <laughs> To the carriage, motherfucker, is two chihuahuas. <laughs> For real? <laughs> oh, was the two, whole time? There's two chihuahuas in the oh carriage the whole time. Oh my god, bro. <laughs> Fucking Pasadena gets a little wow, weird. Yo, people are dude. wild, man. The thing about the coronavirus stuff, people just love to uh <laughs> That's crazy. They love to try to fucking like regulate shit like that, you know? Like I'm better mm -hmm. than you. Mm -hmm. I'm six feet apart. Dude, my buddy Piece Ariel, shit. one of our buddies that we I grew up with, I've known him since kindergarten. Very, very he's, handsome man. He's uh Mexican and Chilean, but he's he's like darker. Darker skin. He brown guy. And uh, he's my best friend like growing up. And he, we, he grew up in South Pasadena and he got into that at that same intersection. Mm -hmm. They were driving. He got in this little like road rage incident. This lady was like trying to cut him off and all this shit. <sighs> the train comes or whatever. Or no, it was just a red light. And then uh, this lady like him and this lady are like dogging each other. And he's like, fuck you, bitch. Like he's like just flicking her off. And then she's like, <laughs> look, she rolls her window down. It's an older white lady. And she's like, get out of our town. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Our town. I always when he told me that I was I add the brown because I just like that like yeah, have our town brown like just <laughs> like he's a fucking Crayola crayon or some shit yeah. bro he said he like he bl he like blacked out this dude has a temper and he's mm -hmm. like he's like I got out of my car and I approached he's like I didn't know what I was gonna do he's like I didn't know if I was gonna beat her ass I, I didn't know yeah. but he said he was just like <laughs> he, like got out started walking to her she just bolted through the fucking red light just jammed out but get out of our town, Brown. Yeah, wow. Dude. I can't believe she added Brown. Crayola Crayola. That. that is some old fashioned racism. That man. is old fashioned right there. I appreciate That's that. Deep. Actually. Yeah. Get out of our town, Brown. Just, like, she didn't really say Brown, but she said Brown. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I, I love when, so when, when an old, pers old white person says like, you go back to where you come from. Because it's like, it's very generic, but very still good. It still gets you very upset. And yeah, all those nice. people are starting to die off anyways, dude. Yeah, not all of go. them because I was I don't know if this guy was racist or not, but he seemed like a fucking asshole. He was I was walking on a target and he was in a handicapped spot 
and uh, he was reversing. But we already walked past his car. But like as we were walking past to the driver's side, he backed up. And I looked over my shoulder and he kind of like almost hit us, but he wasn't really close. But he's like looking. And I just looked on my shoulder. And I was like, who the fuck almost hit us, you know? And it's like this old, the oldest man you've ever seen. Oldest man. And he just flips out his finger like, man, fuck you. And I'm like, why fuck me, bro? You can just hear all the joints crack. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. And the dust comes out of his mouth. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like he's like, fuck you. Like that. Just flicking me off. Uh -huh. Old people fucking fuck you. So, so then he dude. pulls out and I just look at him. And I'm just like looking like, hey, what's up, dude? Like I'm like waving at him because I was going to fight that old man, bro. You're going to beat his I ass? I knew I could have won, won that one. So. Maybe. It's, it's debatable. Yeah, yeah. So, <laughs> so you know, I, I fucking banged on his windshield. I was like, what's up, dude? Let's go. He banged he on his, off. You banged on his windshield? No, nah, I made that up for the story. But like that would have been really cool if I did. Wow. And if I picked on an old man. Old, yeah, you don't look white good man? in any of the situations. You just look an asshole yeah, right yeah, now. Yeah. I didn't do nothing. I just, I just waved to him and I was like, "All right, see you later." And then that was it. Cool. And then I fucking broke his hip. Wow. So why do you hate Jeremy Lin? I don't hate. Jer I love Jeremy <laughs> Lin, bro. <laughs> Lin Sanity happened, was bro? one of my one of my favorite moments of all time in my life. Nothing brought our family together closer than Jeremy Lin. I've really? never seen our whole family or my uncles. I'm Jeremy serious. Lin saves families. He saved our family, but then completely deteriorated after that. Yeah. But like, I remember when- Where is when, he now? Yeah, yeah. What's when, he doing for years now? <laughs> my dad moved to Taiwan. He was like, Jeremy Lin can't make it in the league. And he went, he left. He bounced. Yeah, he went to go watch him the CBA. He breaks up families. Yeah, exactly. Um, but he also brings them together. Um, but I remember when the Lakers played the New York Knicks and that morning, the Lin Sandy game against Kobe, all our family was just cheering in the house. I've never seen our family be so collected together. But Your parents just started fucking each other. Yeah, right. right. And I was like, I was like, <laughs> this finally. is how we made you. <laughs> I was like, thank God. Uh, but I don't hate Jeremy Lin, bro. Let me tell you something. We were in the park and he said that, and I we were discussing the whole Jeremy Lin thing. Uh -huh. He immediately started laughing. He goes, "That's hilarious." <laughs> because you know what it sounds like? It just sounds like shit talking, bro. Like. You play ball before. You know what it's like when you oh, play with it. It's like I fucked your mom, and I'm like, hey, bro, I'm shooting like, a free yo, throw. <laughs> like, relax. Oh. Who called? Who called him coronavirus? He said one of the players uh, that he was playing against called him a coronavirus. But I'm like, bro, Jeremy, you're dropping 30 a game right now. You're balling out. You're going to the league, my guy. Yeah. You know, what they were mean? probably just upset because you're just doing dope. Yeah, yeah. right. You're I mean, balling out. You've been there before. You have a championship ring. Right, and you're in the G he's, League. He's fucking balling, and he's still balling out. He's balling out of control right now. So these fools are gonna talk shit. Let him talk shit, bro. You drop thirty every night. Yeah, that shit doesn't I'm pretty matter. sure it happened. But the first thing when I hear somebody say, "It's just that insult is so dry." Yeah, you right. know what I mean. I thought it's I, a throwaway one, right? It's a very throwaway <laughs> insult too. It sounded like a little bit of a juicy smoulier situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah. I was like, oh, I, I just want to know the context because what. Like, if you're competing against Jeremy Lin and you really want to get in his White head. people apologize right here. No, no. Yeah, if, if, <laughs> if you want to get in Jeremy Lin's head and you're playing basketball with him, you got to be like, hey, Chinese people are like this. Korean are like this. Yeah. And you do that. Yeah. And he's going to be fucking pissed, dude. That's how you get in his fucking head. You gotta Maybe do that that's the reason shit. why he's been scoring 30 points and yeah. his coach actually paid that guy to do it. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. Ooh. He's going to leave, bro. It's, it's like, fine. say the most racist shit ever. I can't do it, coach. I'm not racist. <laughs> I can't do just it do, at all. Just I, I just want to know how the question was asked, like, oh, like, or how it even came <clears throat> about. But, like, when you hear that, I'm just like, yeah, I bet. I bet that happens. And that's I all feel I like say. in sports, there's a lot of terrible shit that people say to each other. Oh, yeah. People say 100%. wild shit, dog. Bro, yeah. I wish, like, the NFL or even basketball. Turn off the announcers. Just I want to hear what they say to each other. I want to hear all the nasty oh, shit. Yeah. The most talking. racist shit ever. Yeah, For real. I, I want to like, but you can click a button. You can hear the announcers or all the shit they say. I would a hundred percent love to hear you, everything they say. You ever it's hear? Ter I bet you it's terrible. You ever hear Kevin Garnett like uh, mic'd up, like the uh, where he'll just say shit loud as fuck. Where actually he won't be mic'd up, but he'll yell it so loud where He's you can hear it through the broadcast. Mm -hmm. And he's like, there's a compilation on YouTube, and you can hear him say the wildest shit. Like what? Like your mama's Think, pussy tasted good last night. Yeah. Yeah. Like shit like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like things that's I can't fucking say. hilarious. <laughs> things I can't say. Yeah. Anything is possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he's trying to stab a motherfucker, bro. You ever seen him in uh, Uncut Gems? That really happened, bro. He was that kind of guy. He's actually pretty good in that movie. He's really yeah, good. Yeah, I was surprised how good his acting was. Yeah, dude. it wasn't bad. He's like, I got to hold this room one more day, bro. Bro, that movie was fucking great. That movie was so huh? good. I was so anxious the yeah. whole fucking time. What uh, the fuck? What are we doing with our lives, man? We got to be an Adam Sandler, man. We, we got to start gambling or some shit. We got to start, you know, that's yeah. what we got to start doing. That's where we got to go, huh? Yeah. Just start, you know, um, what's, what's what I'm looking for? 
I don't know anything about gambling, so I'm not going to continue this. Okay. Yeah, I was like, like, oh, nice. uh, Let's do a very dark alleyway with nothing, you fucking yeah, yeah, loser. Yeah. And I'm just looking at you guys, <laughs> look at me, and I'm like, uh, yeah, where are you, ta- where are you taking <laughs> us? Where are you, where are you taking us on this fucking weird Patrick, journey? so how do you like comedy, man? So you're a pretty funny guy. Why don't you tell us a joke? Yeah, my jokes are so Koreans. <laughs> 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 so Koreans eyes are like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just gotta make the bit better. Yeah, yeah. How would you improve that joke? I I wouldn't do it. I think I think that's how you improve the, the joke. How you improve doing that. it? Yeah, you just, just don't do that. You well, know? Patrick, you're known for your racial humor, aren't you? Uh, no, <laughs> not. not at all. We were, we were talking about yesterday how fucking uh, because I did. Okay, let me tell you about this bullshit. All right, let me tell you the most disorganized human beings on earth. <laughs> the fucking MMA show podcast. We out here, baby. The we out Let's here go. podcast. Okay, okay. The most disorganized fucks <laughs> ever. Uh-huh. So. Gilbert texts me. He goes, hey, you down to do our podcast? I go, I fuck yeah. Doesn't give me a time. This is Saturday or, night, by the way. Or a day, right? Okay. I'm just waiting. Yeah. I'm like, oh, they're probably not going to do it. Whatever. I yeah. just move on. And uh, Nick, te- Nick texts me. He goes, so you down to the podcast tonight? What the fuck? Okay, Nobody so- told me shit. They just said, are you down to do a podcast? And yeah. they just left it open. <laughs> so I can disorganize motherfuckers. I'm going to pass the buck to Gilbert because this is what? true teammates and homies do is you just throw your buddies under the bus mm. but gilbert is in charge of booking our guests and that's what we call it we book our guests mm-hmm. you know, whatever <laughs> but <laughs> with our 200 300 views uh nice, but nice, nice. he he's the one that's supposed to reach out to everybody he does it all the time so as soon as he asked you i was like oh he probably hit up david and i was like all right this is the time we're gonna do it yada 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 and then he texts me on uh, monday because when we shot it and he goes hey can you text david uh, and let him know that we're going to film tonight. And in my head, I'm like, this motherfucker didn't hit him up. He's hitting him up right now. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. And he's like, hey, Nick, you go do it. So I'm like, all right. I text David, and I just hear like, LOL in caps. He's like, you motherfucker, just hit me up. You, I, I don't, I'm not going to even be home tonight, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> so I just fucking went. I was like, well, fuck whatever I was doing. Yeah. I'll just come a little early, whatever. Yeah. Because I care. What did, were you And doing? you did it? I did do oh, it. Oh, wow. Nice. He's a true homie, bro. That's, true that dude. is a true homie right there. And so that's why we're going to get rid of Gil. He mm-hmm. is the worst. And Gil's David go. is going to replace him. <laughs> but we're talking about fucking... Um, I was just reading more about it today, and it just started pissing me off. You know, it was fucking Paulo Costa yeah. and his stupid excuses. Bro, he was drinking idiot, wine, my guy. Bro, what an this idiot! This is what he was doing. He was drinking wine. The, t- yeah. the tanners, bro. The, the tanners, t- tanners. Got him, dude. The tanners. But got he in drank his break. a whole bottle of wine, dog. He drank a. That's what he was claiming. He drank the whole bottle of wine, and got drunk the night before. And that's like. That dumbass, he keeps getting more and more unlikable. Like, you yeah. think, like, it's like, I already don't like you enough. And then he just comes out with another way for me to like him less. Like, dude, what a fucking loser, bro. Just dude. accept the loss. It happened a long time. Like, not a long, long time ago, but, but it happened a while enough. ago. Yeah. You got to fucking accept the loss, learn from it, and get, get over it and fucking keep training, bro. What yeah. the fuck? Like, when you're training really hard and you're eating really clean and you're trying to make a weight class of 185, there's a lot of dieting and cleaning that goes into that. So right. Why the fuck are you drinking wine the night before the biggest fight of your career? Right. And not only just a little bit of wine, a whole bottle, a whole, a whole bottle, bottle of wine, a title fight. Exactly. Be- because the excuse still doesn't make him look good. No. It makes him look like an asshole. Yeah. yeah. It's like, you're an idiot. You're <laughs> yeah. an idiot, bro. It's like, what are you doing? No one asked you to drink a bunch of wine before. Yeah. And on top of that, his, his excuse, probably what I'm thinking is he thought this excuse was going to like, everyone's for some reason was going to be like, oh shit. Mm-hmm. Paulo Costa totally has a shot now. Well, his but first excuse wasn't even that great because he couldn't t- sleep. He goes, I didn't sleep well. Yeah. Who the fuck cares? Nobody sleeps well before they fight. What are you talking about? Yeah, everyone's about? nervous as fuck. That's yeah. common. That's very common. Yeah. He, prob- he probably saw Conor McGregor liked up with the Khabib talk about how he would get fucked up all the time <laughs> and then was probably like, oh, maybe like I could use that too. That's I'm thinking so maybe. Funny. That's probably exactly maybe what it was. Because dude. like, cause, but with <laughs> Conor, it's like that dude was out of hand, so you can believe it. Like that dude was out that was smacking that? phones out of people's hands. Like he mm-hmm. was wild. Like, that he press was wild. conference with Habib and Conor. Oh He's, yeah, bro, that shit was the weirdest press conference I've ever seen. Yeah, he was he was off the rails. Yeah, he was like screaming, "You fucking mad rat! You fucking mad cunt!" He yeah, was yeah. Just screaming that the whole time. Yeah, dude, he Habib had out. fucking mumps, bro. He had mumps. Did yeah. you see the picture of this? Dude, he was fucked up, dude. He had mumps. That's like a deadly disease. That's an old time. That's disease. like a bubonic plague disease. Yeah, right like there. shit yeah, like yeah, that. Medieval your, shit. Your boy just... Hassan was writing a song about the mumps. Yeah, bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's what he was yeah. singing about. He had the fucking mumps. <laughs> And he got barely got over it, and then he fought. So they, they wow. did you see the picture of his face? It's fucking nuts, dude. He looks, it looks like it's photoshopped. Before it the McGregor- doesn't look real. No, before uh, the Justin Gaethje, Gaethje fight. Oh, 
But Paulo Costa, bro. Paulo like, Costa's a fucking loser, bro. What the bro. fuck are you doing? You're supposed to be a professional athlete and you're drinking a bottle of wine before the fight? If that's even true. Yeah. Dude, and, look at this fool. This fool looks like fucking Alex, dude. Whoa, dude. He looks like DC. That does look like a filter. What the fuck? This is his face with mumps. That he looks was, like the Fatify filter on his face. <laughs> he looks like the nutty professor, but like Habib. <laughs> <laughs> bro. Habib he, clumps. Habib clumps. And then he fucking obliterates with this fucking disease. How long was that before the actual fight, though? It was like a week or some shit. And his face went down to normal in that yeah. amount of time? Holy shit. That's why that fool was crying. How do you like, catch crazy. the mumps, dude? I don't know. That's man. like a Muppet, like a Muppet disease. <laughs> he, a Muppet he, disease. Fucking... Like, he didn't make no fucking excuse. He didn't say no. shit. Yeah, he's, he's not a bitch. big ass. John Jones, he did a whole line of coke and fucked a bunch of hookers. Yeah, but that's good for fighting though. That's good. All right, whatever. That's good, I, that's good shit. That keeps that, you. That keeps you sharp. Fucking coke. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Is that what you did? No. Have you done hard drugs before? No. Nah, just, oh, uh, like, just the, like, the only man. thing I've done is marijuana, 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 and, uh, mushrooms. You've done mushrooms? We dropped. We did some mushrooms after our wedding. Oh, you microdosed, cool. right? Oh, what was that like? It was great. How'd you feel? I felt great. What'd you th- What'd you experience? I just felt happy. That was it. It was very faint. You took a little bit though, right? No, I took a good amount. I took a couple caps and a couple stems. Whoa! I, I FaceTimed. I FaceTimed my dealer, and I was like, "Hey, man, it's like a seventeen-year-old kid." Yeah. Fucking guy over here. <laughs> my dealer. My dealer is seventeen-year-old kid. Kids. He trains. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> kids he trained yeah. to fight again. He's a sophomore in high school. Nice. Great kid. Nice. Um, and he was like, "Oh yeah, you take this much, and then and then my lady took some too." Whoa. Yeah, yeah. He probably won't be happy that I said that, but how'd she feel? Bag. How'd she feel? She had a really good trip, dude. She yeah. had a really. She was. She. She. Did you guys fuck on mushrooms? No, no, no. We were on the beach. <laughs> we were on the beach, and um, we haven't had sex yet. We haven't consummated the thing yet. Oh. Uh, um, oh. Virgin. Yeah. yeah. Virgin, virgin. We're holding out virgin, for a ten year anniversary. Virgin. Oh, perfect. Ten year wedding anniversary. Oh, perfect. Nice. So twenty years in total. Fuck that's what we're waiting for. <laughs> well, that's what you, that's what you guys are doing, right? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Pat's a virgin too. So. Oh, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, he hasn't yeah. been married. I am. I'm Why are you virgin. looking like that? I'm, I'm that, a virgin. True? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. So how did you have that kid? I'm <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, dude, it was great. Like, what, what made you want to take the the psychedelics? It it wasn't my idea. It was your lady's idea. It was my wife's wow. idea. Wow. Like, hey, we should we should try it. She's gonna put a finger in your butt. I already know. Hey, she's oh, crazy. Hey, yeah, that's key, coming hey, next. Can I tell you something? This is this is gonna be mad. Like she likes to credit card my butt cheeks. Oh yeah, she does. And at first I was. <laughs> hold on, hold on. She thinks it's funny, right? She's uh-huh. loosening you up with the... She's buttering exactly. you up with the psychedelics. This and then is, she's going to be like, strap on, fucking studded. Yeah. <laughs> you and ready, I, Nick? And then I'll be like, no, let's use mine. And I'll pull mine out. Whoa. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You carry it like a sword, yeah, too. Yeah, it's, it's a I ninja. Like that. Yeah, it's like... A, You're like uh-huh. Link. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah That's yeah. exactly what it is. Okay. It's perfect. So, uh, what were we talking about? We are talking about... You guys were talking about... Oh, yeah. She, was sli- she, she likes to credit card my butt cheeks, right? And... um. What? Yo, I'm, I'm not. I just thought of something. But I'm ahead. bringing it back to the credit. Yeah, card go, ahead, butt go, ahead, go ahead. Okay. So she likes the credit card my butt cheeks, and at first I'd be really jumpy, but now I'm pretty cool with it, man. Now it's like yep. she could probably slide a finger up in there, and I'll be good. According to her plan, you guys do that too, right? <laughs> a lot of things I didn't need to know. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> it was spent five minutes. Didn't need to know any Tiff of that. Can't, shit. Hey, yo, she can't see this episode. She I'm, can't a, see this I'm gonna literally look this part up. Timestamp and, send it and to we're him. gonna yeah I'm just yeah, gonna send her yeah. this clip and be like this is what we say we just talk shit about you and your butthole pleasures all the whole time that's what we talk about <laughs> yeah tips in the buttholes with your bro let me ask you something yeah, man. okay what's up <laughs> do I Google buttholes on on Google Images yeah what's wrong with you dude <laughs> <laughs> hey bro you ask the questions I answer that's my that's my role here yeah. that's it is is ayahuasca and shrooms the same thing i think they're no they're different i think think uh i don't know specifically what they are i think there's like a couple versions of dmt or something Mm. and uh i think they're like there's like a three and a five or some shit i know somebody who did dmt and had a really bad trip after that i'm like i don't want to try this yeah really uh what happened i'm gonna call him a he Okay. It could be a she or whatever. So it's a her. Continue. It's a pretty fucked up story. But basically, <laughs> this dude, <clears throat> fucking artist, right? So they, there's like these moments where, I don't know, artists always feel like they have to, they're like in this like artistic rut or something. Or yeah. something about people when they live in LA, they always feel like they, I'm not growing enough. There's no growth here. Yeah. You know, this is like the, the popular things that people say in the yeah. city. So this person was doing perfectly fine. Had a coffee shop and everything else like that. Was happily married. Whatever, right? So this dude decides to go meet up a bunch of other people like on Reddit or some shit. And they're, they're going to oh, do yeah, of course, yeah. an ayahuasca like, trip idea, thing. So yeah. when you do ayahuasca, apparently, 
um, you have somebody who kind of moderates shit and watches you to a make shaman. sure that you're not a shaman. A shaman. I guess I don't know what the fuck it is. A Hassan. <laughs> yeah, Hassan. <laughs> the shaman's name was Gary. Not a <laughs> but, uh, Hi, my name is Gary. I'll be they go shaman off today. <laughs> <laughs> they go off. Either it was like Joshua Tree or some shit, and they go off the right. Yeah. Off into like the desert or the fucking forest. Oh no. Uh, decides to do a little ayahuasca. Right? Oh. Has like what this the cool weird, call it? weird fucking trip. Freaks the fuck out. Throws up yaks like everybody else does. But has comes to the conclusion that he needs to divorce his wife, uh, sell all of his worldly possessions, and then quit everything he's doing. Whoa. Goes back, divorces his fucking wife, he does, and then uh, sells his part of the coffee shop and fucking leaves him, and then tries to go off on a spiritual journey. Don't know what the fuck happened to this dude. He comes back, and then he finally snaps out of it. Right, and it took like a couple of months. I don't know what the fuck happened to his brain. <sighs> right, snaps out of it, comes back, and says, "I just made the biggest." fucking mistake of my life i miss my fucking wife like i missed the, the previous life that i had in those two three months or whatever dude finds another uh she finds another fucking uh dude and so his whole fucking past life is gone because when he took ayahuasca he had like the spiritual revelation the spirits were talking to him telling him that the, what he's doing right now isn't the right way he shouldn't be eating meat and all this other bullshit so I, I don't know. Wow. Do you think that's just what he thinks in his brain and then it just came about? You I don't know. know. I mean? People believe like, that whole ayahuasca trip is like you in another fucking dimension. But, yeah. but, but do you yeah, think like do. some of it is like the subconscious of like the things that you think is true and then it brings it to light a little bit Could more? Could be. I've never Could done be. it before. So, but, Would um, you do mushrooms? No. I don't, I don't like drugs though. It's not my shit. Yeah. The only thing I take is CBD farmhouse, guys. This <laughs> my- <laughs> hey, you know, we got some. Pretty dope. We Stuff gave is, I gave it to Tiff's mom and she loves it. It's fucking fantastic. She's, she's a big I'm fan. telling you, it's the best shit ever. She's a big fan. You guys thought you were nice. high. <laughs> Dude, I felt you, high. I think you gave us the, the ones with THC. I felt bro. something. I on, I didn't feel like sober. I felt this full microdose in us, bro. Dude, I like I felt pun, good. Pun, I was happy. Yeah. Yeah. I, was I felt nice. great. I was like, I are you sure there's not edibles? Because I was like, this is the best high I've had in a really long time. It's very calming, it's very nice. Yeah, it I was needed nice. that shit because I went on that fucking death hike all the way up in. Uh, How was Malibu. it? Oh, yeah. How was it? It looks scary. What the fuck do you think it was like? It was one of the most <laughs> frightening experiences of my life. Here's the funny thing, right? So we have this buddy named Darian, right? Yeah. Darian is Bob, a yeah. fucking Cambodian billy goat. Like the way he <laughs> climbs and scales these mountains, uh-huh. you would think that there was magnets on his feet. <laughs> He didn't use his hands at all. He just has like a GoPro, GoPro 360 with a stick and he's just climbing up with his feet. And I'm telling you, this shit is like a slant, like a yeah. solid, like, I don't know, what, what's the degree? It's Past vertical. the 45. Yeah. It's vertical, basically, he's right? He's walking up like this. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I have a deathly fear of heights. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. fucking scared of heights. Same. And so he has this conversation with Joe <laughs> telling himself like, hey, I can get anybody to do anything. Now, mind you, he did get me to, to scale this fucking mountainside, right? Okay, okay. And so... This is the funny thing that people always say to me that it's a little annoying, but makes me laugh. He goes, don't you feel accomplished? I looked dead into this man's eyes. I said, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what do you mean? I was like, I don't think you understand. You can only feel accomplished. I would feel accomplished if climbing a mountainside was a part of my fucking bucket list. Yeah. It was never a part of my bucket list. Yeah. I don't care. <laughs> yeah. I don't remember anything. You know, I was that scared. Wow, and the only reason why that's I called could, PTSD, my guy. <laughs> the yeah. only reason why I could, rem, um, I even got up there was because of my CBD farmhouse products. There you go. Where it reduces anxiety. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it really did though. It helped with like the anxiety. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah. But then there was one part of the fucking mountain where you got you go off trail past this waterfall, and it's these two huge fucking slabs of rocks. No. Nah. That you have to zigzag up. And then when you get to the top part, when you peek your head out, that fucking pussy rock, you look over <laughs> to the right and it's just a death drop. Wow. So I didn't know this. And my CBD fucking wore off at this point. So my anxiety is already through the roof. Oh, no. I look over, I get vertigo. Oh, no. And, I, and, the, and the fucking world starts to spin. And I had to sit down in this little fucking rock and sit there for like five minutes. But then the only thing was, is like everybody else was climbing. I can't get back down by myself. So I have to go up. I don't have a fucking choice. So I just kept telling myself, David, your child is up there and you need to save this little bitch. <laughs> so I just had to create these random scenarios. Wow. And I somehow start scaling it, but I literally had to crawl. That's why my forearms are all fucking scratched the fuck up. Because I was crawling on my fucking knees and my fucking arms just on all fours like a little bitch. Bro, wow. you guys be doing too much, dog. I'm so you, telling you. That's not a hike. That's You guys went boulder. Where right, was this? Where was this? It's uh, Escondido. Escondido Falls? I've heard yeah, of it. Yeah. I don't know where that is. It's Malibu. 
Tiff uh, want to do that. I mean, we ain't doing that shit, bro. Bro, you had a scale, so like like a ninja where you have your hand Look, on the yeah. foot like that? Like you had to put your back to the, oh, to the and rock then, and then kind of zigzag oh, up. Shit. While that fucking U2 song Vertigo was playing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Dude. Yeah, and then I got it. Hola! <laughs> it's so fucking funny, too, because I remember... It, it was two girls, right? Very sweet, sweet. And I probably wouldn't have been able to do it without without them because they were very, very supportive. I'm pretty sure they lost all respect for me, though. <laughs> I am 100%. Because David the whole time was like, don't tell me what to do, you fucking bitch. Like, just yelling at him. That's exactly what I said. <laughs> so there's a You're point. You're fucking cunt, dog. Get away from yeah. me. So my friend Gigi, right? I love Gigi to death. She's been on this podcast before. <clears throat> and she goes, you can do it. You can do it. Here, give me your head. I was like, get your fucking hands away from me. <laughs> you ain't gonna save me, bitch. <laughs> I was like, like, I will literally drag you to the depths of hell. Get the fuck off me. I was like, fuck you, motherfucking bitch ass cunt motherfuckers. And I'm just climbing my way all the way up. Oh my God. But they knew it wasn't out of a place of hate. It was yeah. out of a place of fear. It was yeah, like Tourette's. Sure. Yeah. yeah, but I will never, ever, ever do anything like that again. I don't remember shit. Wow, that's, that's so that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, I only remember whatever was recorded. So from what I see in the video, but I don't remember what the trail looks like. That's how scared I was. That's fucking crazy. What does Vertigo feel like? Because I've always heard of it, but I don't, I don't understand. Have you ever like gone to the city and then looked up at a skyscraper? Oh yes. In the whole, that's what Vertigo is. It okay. just hits you. Really? And just, you like, just start to fall over. Yeah. That's so weird. So could you imagine doing that when there's like a vertical drop that'll fucking kill you? Oh my god. So how did you guys get down? I don't know. Don't ask. I don't remember. I just literally got on my app. Oh, this is what I did. I basically. So here's the other thing. When they tell you uh, you're going on a fucking hike, when you tell somebody who lives in L.A. you're going to go on a hike, you're thinking it's a paved roadway. Yeah. It was not. It was only like that for the first like half and the other half you're just climbing and it's all dirt and rocks. I had fucking ultra boost on. So I was slipping and falling. Bro. Oh, my God. Everywhere. Dude. That's Holy the worst, shit. dude. That's yeah. the fucking worst. Yeah, so I was scared fucking shitless. And so on the way back down, I literally have video footage of me just scooting my ass like a dog with an itchy ass on the carpet. <laughs> like a mile down. <laughs> Having these rocks butt fuck me for a fucking mile. <laughs> it was the fucking worst. Oh dude. my God, or dude. That best, sounds horrible. You know, depending. Absolutely not. <laughs> I, was, I left the blood trail everywhere. <laughs> and then, shout out to my boy Darian too because this fool, right before we hit this spot we're supposed to start scaling this fucking mountainside, he goes, dude, the other day this person thought he was done with the trail jumped and snapped his fucking leg and the bone just shot out right out of his leg. Cool, thanks man. I'm like, he goes, you ready? You ready? <laughs> Darian, what the fuck, guy? Are yeah. you insane? My red. is wearing off. <laughs> He's motivated by fear, that guy. Wow, yeah. dude. Fuck that shit, dude. That's insane. That's fuck unbelievable. That. Yeah, th fuck all hikes like that, dude. <laughs> fuck all okay. hikes like that. Bro, yeah. I don't got to be climbing no mountains. I nope. don't want to be scaling things. Nope. I just want to walk uphill mm -hmm. in a nice incline, get yeah. my steps. That's it. That's it. I don't yeah. got to climb mountains. Like, I had to, like, let's see this shit, too. Little fucking little hole in my hand <laughs> from a rock. Jesus so Christ. I was slipping so much. Oh, I just remember this part. I was slipping so much and these hands were so fucking scraped up. I, I grabbed two flat rocks like this big and I started using that instead because the rocks were scraping up the bottom of my palms. <laughs> so this, this, and he goes, don't you feel good about yourself right now? You accomplished, sir. <laughs> fuck you, dude. I'm a Fuck you up. Shit, huh? <laughs> <laughs> You're like some wartime bullshit, dude. Yeah. You gotta use rocks as fucking this, hands. This city got people fucked up, man. It's That's so crazy. Weird. Like, That's I don't crazy. understand. It's like, I, I don't feel good. And Joe felt bad because Joe didn't remember what the hike was like. And when we got uh, halfway there, he, he don't goes, remember nothing. He's like, oh shit, I think this is actually a lot more difficult than I thought. I'm like, I'm already here. I got Ultra Boost on. What are we doing? <laughs> It's too late. Oh, my God. Fuck that, bro. And then the part that he said, he goes, you know, the part that we just did. He goes, that was actually the worst part. He lied. The, it was nowhere near as difficult as that last hike. There's, it's not even a, a, a trailed hike. People just go up there. So how long was this hike? Uh, to me, it felt like 18 hours, but I believe it was three hours. That's still long. Bro, that's to long. be like climbing like that and shit. Like that's, that's why my lips are all fucked up. He got sunburnt. Really? I didn't know your lips could get sunburned. I didn't David know had a heat stroke on the yeah. fucking yeah. So my like... lips got sunburned and then my allergies were going so fucking crazy. Oh my God. Like I, I kept on rubbing my nose. That's why I have no skin right here. Yeah, bro. Allergies, <laughs> that's it, bro. My allergies have been fucked up. Bro, too. you almost died, dude. Yeah. And then I got, I get home, right? I have to edit a whole fucking podcast that night. I have the yeah. longest day of my fucking life. He's crying the whole time while he's editing it. Yeah. <laughs> ah! 
<laughs> yeah, it's like Josh Eisenhower. Yeah. Oh my god. And so I was so I don't know what happened. I I fucked up my adrenals or some shit. But the next day, midday, six hour nap. I was yeah. out. Yeah. Just fucking out. Probably and the stress, the fear, the fucking, the actual physical. I thought exertion. I had the Rona because I had a fever yeah. too, but it was just from the stress. David would tell me like not extreme stories like this, but he would tell me stories where he would be really stressed from something or whatever. And then like sleep all day. And I used to be like, man, David fucking this full lying. He just lying to get out of training. <laughs> but the more I hear these stories, the more I'm like, Nah, that's just David. <laughs> that's just me, baby. Some, <laughs> hey, some people like some people like just have they can't just do shit like that. I you know what I mean? Like they just they don't have the mental capacity to like do things like that. Because you know, like we have most of like my friends growing up, they, they would always be able to roll with the punches. You know what I mean? Like we would do crazy shit and they'd be fine. But sometimes you gotta watch out for your friends that, you know, may not like be well equipped enough to handle certain situations. Like in this. three minutes. You could have just called me a bitch. But like, that's yeah. all you could have said. And, that was the longest and, description of a little bitch made the, pussy motherfucker. At the end of the day, some people just, you know, just aren't cut He's out. He's just for... dancing around it. He goes, you know, some of our friends aren't as well equipped with right. penises. <laughs> <laughs> right? And I'm one of them. The penis simply looks like two flaps. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like vulvas. Vulvas. <laughs> well, some of our friends. My point was, the thing is, is just watch out middle. for your friends. Watch yeah. out for your friends Makes that a can't handle this bro. type of shit. You're a politician, I'm bro. I'm not, bro. I'm yeah. just saying. Because that's, that's what I think of. I'm like, fuck. Because I know a lot of people in the comments are like, David, shut the fuck up. That that never happened. You're lying. You know? And I'm yeah, like, I got witnesses. Listen, <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> David's got issues, all right? I got <laughs> real issues. You got but real issues. But that's the weird thing. You know what? The internet, they're like recorded or it doesn't. Ha it didn't happen. But you I'm suck like, my you ass, know, bro. normal people just kind of experience life. Yeah. They don't just whip out their fucking camera every time something happens for clout like Bro, yeah, if exactly. david if david recorded himself doing this hike david probably would have died i would have been dead and yeah. i was so lucky that i had joe to laugh at me and record me for a good hour. <laughs> <laughs> how fortunate he's yeah. wearing like no clothes climbing this fucking mountain like nothing and just living the day. I have the videos. Let me show you guys. Yeah, the yeah. Fucking pull, pull videos, them up. Pull we up. saw the videos, and I was like, "Dude, this looks way too hot." I saw a couple clips that you posted, but you look like you were having fun, kind of. Though. Oh, you don't know me at all, you son of a bitch. Just saw yeah. a picture of you in the back. These girls posing, and you in the back, like laying down. <laughs> yeah. so was Does like, that look oh, fun to you? Uh, yeah, I was like, he looks like he's having a good time. He's up there. He's up there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. David like, literally, that's the hole that you go in that you have to climb out of, and then you see this. It looks plain here, but that's just a drop on the other side. Are these the girls giving you emotional support? Yeah, they're like, you can do it. I believe in you. I'm so proud. You know what that trail looks like? It looks like nobody should go there. Exactly. Yeah, it looks terrible. Fuck it that. looks like there. It shouldn't be inhabited by human. Like beings. getting coming out of a manhole or some shit. Right yeah, there. bro. And there's all which is so funny. You see this? This literally scooting down the mountain <laughs> on my ass. Hey, with your white ass shoes, dude. Yep. And so if you look over here to this side, it's just a drop. Yeah. It's literally just a drop. That's it. You're dead. I like how these girls are walking and you're like, what's Yo, fuck <laughs> these nice ass bitches, dude. I told you. Hey, People bro, think I'm exaggerating my story. No, 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 for no. real. No, let me tell you, bro. When I was in Hawaii, I had no traction on my shoes. I ate shit so many times. That's what and, I don't And know. I feel like I'm pretty coordinated. And Tiff was chilling, bro. She was laughing at my ass. Like, yeah. I was, uh, I was, I slipped and fell on some rocks and I fell backwards and I tried to catch my balance. I slipped again. There was a stick sticking out like this. Literally, my ass. Fell right on it, bro. I'm noticing a theme, dude. I had a bruise right on the inner cheek, dog. Right? And then fucking Tip was like, I prepared you for this credit yeah. card. Yeah. Swipe. Yeah. Well, no. credit Swipe. Card. Swipe. And the bruising went away right away. Yeah. But yeah, you know what, man? I'm, I'm happy for you, David. You did something that you were very scared of. Actually, he had no I idea. I don't He had no care. idea. He had, he had no idea what he was going to remember anything. anything. <laughs> don't fucking care. I feel like David always gets roped into some situations where like... You know what? I'm a down-ass bitch. That's no, my you problem. are. You are. But I bet I bet Joe was like, let's just not tell him like how crazy this shit is. No, yeah. Joe didn't remember. Yeah, Joe don't Joe remember. Joe was literally, when he we got to the point where it was getting a little crazy, he goes, oh shit. No. Right? And you saw his face. And you're like, yeah, and then that's when Joe had to really help me. He goes, all right, man. Because... When people are experienced in climbing and hiking, they can see things that I don't see. Yeah. So they'll like Joe at first was like, "All right, put your foot on that rock." I'm like, "What, what rock? rock? They all the same. It <laughs> looks like dirt." <laughs> what are you talking? He goes, "That rock right there," and then he has to point it out. And then it was like a video game with the red circle pops up. I'm like, yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, Bro. "Then you're gonna put your post your hand up here, use your momentum, and then thrust your body up, and then put your leg on this rock." But in my mind. I'm thinking, because I'm strong. Your yeah. boy's a strong man. You're strong guy. If strong I thrust guy. too far, I'm going to rock it out to yeah, the other yeah, side. Yeah. <laughs> so 
worse. And you have vertigo the whole time. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So it was Fuck one of that, the worst dude. experiences of my life. Yeah, that's a, that's fucking awful. A scary hike is will fucking make the hike shit is a whole nother because I'm not a big fan of heights either. Uh, I went to Zion one time and there's a hike up there called Angels Landing, and the whole time you go high, but it's basically like paved road. I mean, it turns into dirt, but it's like kind of you know it's nice. Mm-hmm. And you go up and you go, you're starting to get really high. It starts getting windy. You're like, okay, but it's like you feel safe because it's like a path, yeah. you know? Then there's a there's an end point and then there's uh uh like a skinny little narrow walkway and it gets to the last like probably like 100, 150 yards. But the last 150 yards are this, it's it's like a narrow piece. It's a very tall mountain. You keep going up, very narrow. There's two single filed lines. And on the rocks, there's chains. Like you gotta hold on to chains, and people are moving like ants. So basically, you like when we did this shit, you're holding on to a chain like this. There's you're maybe walking on something like about literally about this narrow, and it's all rocks. And then down there, it's like you're on like a, a skyscraper, like no. length. Fuck that. I cannot bro. do that. So I I was like, at first, nope. I was like, it took me a while to be like, I want to make it to the end. But there's people literally sitting in the middle crying. Yeah. Like, people like this, like I got no, I got no. Like, bro, bro it literally looked like a like fucking Saving Private Ryan. You know why it's called Angels Landing? Is because probably people die up there. People yeah. die, dude. No, you honestly, people do die. People okay. have died. It's very right. if you slip, if you fuck up, You're you dead. will die. There's another pl- there's another hike called Echo Mountain that my brother used to jog up, and there's like fucking like coyotes and bobcats, coyotes, and bears, and fucking Coyote. deers up there and shit. He takes me there, and he didn't tell me that this place, like I'm talking about, the road is as wide as this couch is. Yeah, and then it's just a straight drop off. Like you just you could be in the clouds. That's what it looks like. It's the bridge to nowhere. It leads up there. Fuck that. But you can literally like who names this shit? You fucking assholes. Yeah. <laughs> so, is you trying to be scary and shit? That that was a hike. I can remember what it was like, and it just I can't do it again. I had to stop and sit down. And be like, you know what? You guys go all the way up and you have to come get me because I can't do this. Yeah, yeah. fuck it, that. It, it was too hard. And this was when I didn't have CBD at that time. So I was just sitting there just curled up at a, as a, at a ball like this. In yeah. the corner. Couldn't fucking do it. And right before we got up, there was a missing person poster right there. And we found out later on through the internets, <laughs> that motherfucker fell off and died. Cool. <laughs> Why? Yeah, fuck that shit. Why do we do this? Yeah, did you right, ever do right. the What's Cocoa the Head Trail in uh, Hawaii? Yeah. Cocoa Hawaii. Head. Did cool. you, did you, were you scared doing that one? I was scared, but it's more manageable. There's a wide road and it's a lot no, more stable. For real. But that shit, we were fucking kind of tripping. We were kind of tripping on because that shit was kind of scary. Because Tiff was like, she's not, she don't really hike that much. She doesn't really mm-hmm. like do much, that much physical activity. But I was like really surprised that she got up there. But like when you see how high it is and how steep it is from like the freeway, we were like, I can't believe we fucking did that shit. Yeah, it's exhausting. Because it, it is kind of scary. Like we, we, so people were saying like, oh, it's super easy. You just breeze right through it. But low key, I was like, oh, this shit kind of. You're high. You're the up there. easiest this one is Diamond you. Head. Yeah, I never. We had, we did. Uh, we didn't do Diamond. Diamond Head's like man made, so yeah. you're you're fine. Okay. Like you're you're go. But there was motherfuckers running up. It's like steep as shit. Like Dude, it's super steep. Mariel's so fucking funny, man. So when we, when we. Uh, <laughs> We went to Diamond she comes Head. Comes here, beats our ass. <laughs> I don't. I don't think she knew how scared of heights I was. Right. Uh-huh. So she wanted to go to Diamond Head, and all of her friends are doing it together. And I'm not having a good time. I'm <laughs> literally only focusing on not dying. Yeah. That's it. Right. And so, and mind you, at this time, your boy like 270 pounds. I'm Shit. a fucking fat boy. You're a unit. Right. When I sweat. It's just bacon grease at this point. Yeah. I'm going up and I'm exhausted. I literally soaked through my shirt. And at the top, she goes, let's take a couple pick. I'm like, can I just get a second? And then she looks at me, she goes, everybody else is doing it. How can we? I'm like, look at me. Do I look happy? Look at what? This shirt was baby blue. It's now navy. Like, I soaked through this whole shirt. Oh, my God, bro. She, we got into a fucking fight all the way down because she was so upset that I didn't want to do couple shit with her. But I'm like, I am terrified. Yeah. Look into my fucking eyes. They're Chinese. They're up. <laughs> They're hey, Japanese and down. But it's funny because, like, the people that have taught me about anxiety in my life has been David and Tiff. Because mm-hmm. I'm that guy where I'm like, come on, bro, like stop being a ba- like, let's just go. Like I'll say that to Tiff, like, come on, let's go. Oh like, yeah, whatever. I tell him to put an Instagram post, and he has a fucking mental breakdown. <laughs> oh, my God. He doesn't have anxiety. <laughs> oh, what happens if people comment? <laughs> <laughs> hey, and they hey. say I don't know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you hey, have anxiety hey. too, bitch. But but because talking to David, I was like, oh, that's what that is. 
oh, and I'm playing this. I'm bro. I'm learning shit about my my childhood that I'm like, oh wait, is that what you call it these days? Well, I yeah. thought I didn't know about oh. my anxiety stuff too because back in the day, as Korean people call it, you're a little bitch. Mm. Yeah, That's yeah, all that yeah, it yeah. is. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, this is a weird type of like complaining though, because this shouldn't affect me like this. This is normal people shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. very yeah. frustrating. You yeah, know? right. I'm like, ah, oh, you, you just gotta, you, you were a little anxious. Yeah. yeah, just fucking breathe it out a little bit. Yeah, it somewhere happens. around 1990s is when it trained. The, the 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 medical term went from little bitch to anxiety. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. But I, I like, think I think I have some too. I didn't know that, but I just I, there's moments where I feel calm and I'm like, oh, this is really nice. Yeah. And I'm like, but why don't I feel like this like all the time? You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it's a spectrum, right? Like some things. Everybody trigger Everybody, Everyone's different. That's yeah. the thing too. Everybody deals with anxiety. Yeah, at some all the point, time. right? It's just some of us are extreme. Yeah, yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. where it's just it's things that are just stupid that makes you really anxious. Like yeah, stuff yeah. that shouldn't fucking bother you. I hear like, you. Yeah. When I'm when I was like doing this room, and then uh, I didn't know that you have to let a uh, paint dry for seven days for it to cure before you start applying like command strips. And so every time all those phrases, yeah, didn't know either. Continue. <laughs> yeah, I know, <laughs> I know anything you just every, said. Time, bro, like, every time David does some new shit. He becomes an expert on it because he does all of the research, which is fine. Which is because of my anxiety. Exactly. <laughs> okay. And I learned that about David where I was like, oh, this dude will be walking around South Pass and he's like, hey, do you know this is a Garcinia Cambogia and this is a <laughs> plant from, a, and I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Like, how do you know? He's actually uh, res resides in Phoenix and it's actually not native to California. But just also, have you know. seen these golden beats? And he'll pull it out like just <laughs> golden beats. Like, what the fuck is his... this guy, bro? Who I'm are you? you? What is a command strip, dude? Number one. Yeah, oh, command that? strip are based if you want to put up any type of artwork Take or notes, whatever and you don't want to damage the wall it's oh. just uh, it's a sticky adhesive yeah didn't that's know they're called fucking uh, command strips that's mm -hmm. why all my walls are damaged <laughs> <laughs> he's got that hammer and just goes <laughs> 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 wall just so falls. that's why i use these command strips uh. and then i found out and i and i put up a fucking photo it fell down started pissing me off uh -huh. and I didn't know why I started getting anxious so I had to look it up online to yeah. figure it out and I was freaking out I'm like hold on a second bro it's a fucking picture you little bitch mm. relax yeah and then I just took a CBD and I jacked off and I was okay <laughs> here you heard it here first guys if you have anxiety about anything Take CBD farmhouse gummies and you jack off. Just notice that if you guys ever talk to me and you meet me and I go, I'm feeling really anxious. I disappear for 10 minutes. You already know what I did. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I did the deal. That is a good cure though, man. CBD and you jerk off. Oh, okay. like, Ooh, what's Jacking gonna... it for a guy clears everything. If I have a need. busy day ahead of me, I always jerk off. Perfect. All cool. decisions you need, you need to jack off. Before. No distractions, clear head. Yep. I can get to work. I can focus. There's nothing like it. What's What gets you a clear head than you jacking it? Working out, yeah, clearer yeah. than yeah, yeah, more more like more like, <laughs> like 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 kickboxing, yeah, yeah, but like weights, not weights help a little bit, but like kickboxing helps me a lot, almost to the the, the amount of jerking it's, off. It's this. just that 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 fucking blood flowing in you, and yeah, then because yeah. uh, after we did a, a few mid sessions, my brain was crispy for like a good two three hours after that. Yeah, mm -hmm. I should have wrote my fucking dissertation. There you go, baby. But that's the thing; it <laughs> only thesis. lasts like three hours, four hours, and then you're like, "Fuck!" All right, back you, to fucking primate. Gotta then you gotta fucking. Again. Then you gotta jerk off. So then that's how you jerk off like yeah, this. Yeah, just like this. Right. Damn, you just go straight for the nub. Shout huh? out to my boy John; he taught me this one. He came over and showed me how to do it. He showed like, you? He was like this. This is a very odd moment. How old are you? 22? Uh, 17. <laughs> All right. Uh, Nick, you're doing it wrong. Squeak, squeak, squeak. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Squeak. For all the viewers at home, check it out. This is my tech. Try it out. Go ahead. Go for it. I don't only do fitness tips. I do this kind of tips too, you know? Post right. that on Instagram, bro. Yeah, That's yeah. good content. <laughs> hey, guys. Are you having trouble jacking off at home? Mm -hmm. Why don't you try this technique? This will have a mental breakdown every time I told him to just post on Instagram. I, bro, yeah. I just don't like... It's, it was bro. the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> like, I was like, dude, fitness stuff on Instagram is a, in abundance. You, you, know, yeah. you know what it is for me? It's just like, bro, I feel like most people don't... Like, they know this shit already. You know yeah. what I mean? But it, it's not true. Pe most people don't know shit. They have like imposter syndrome. I do, bro. I have crazy imposter syndrome. I have I imposter syndrome. About. But you have to be successful to have that first, though. So let's start with that. Huh? <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> success is different for everybody, just like anxiety. Okay, <laughs> levels of success. There's levels of success. Yeah, I was. I was just, supposed to be dead ten years ago. Dude, when bro, he started posting it. on Instagram and started putting out facts and stuff, I'm mm -hmm. like, wow, look. It only took him three fucking years. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, you know what? It is what it is, bro. It's better late than never, right? Absolutely, and I hate that phrase. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, time is slipping away, and uh, make sure you guys capitalize on time. Am I right?
No. And my armpits are really sweaty because you're making me nervous. Well, wow. guys, <laughs> that wraps up this episode of the Genius Brain Weirdo. Weirdo. Podcast. <laughs> this is a... Uh, this is fucking Nick Escuelas. <laughs> this is it, baby. Nick Escuelas, dog. <laughs> Nicky Escuelas. Nick Escuelas. You can find Nick at Nick the Ear. He is a personal trainer. He does stuff, right? Whatever, dude. He does stuff, right? <laughs> he does stuff, right? He does stuff, he does stuff. Right? Escuela. He does Yo, that, the, <laughs> when he posted the last one and you did a little ad, I appreciate the little plug. And you're like, seriously, he's a trainer. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I, I know I make fun of him, but he actually does work. <laughs> and then we have Patrick.t.riley. Follow him on the yeah, Instagram yeah, yeah, as well. I'm going to grunt. And then Thursdays and Sundays, you can catch the Genius Brain Podcast, and we'll see you all next time. Woo. Peace. Fuck